Neat. I'm so happy you've joined me today. We are working on a spell today called a transformation spell. And so this can be used for anything negative that you have that you want to rather than just banish it or if it's a, if somebody sending you negative energy rather than reversing it. You're going to take that energy and you're going to clean it up and redirect it and point it towards a goal that you do want. So I have here four candles, a black candle, a white candle, a red candle, and then this green candle, or you can choose any color candle that represents the desire you want. So green for money, blue for peace, uh, gold for success, you name it. Whatever it is that you desire, that's the choice of candle color that you'll use. I have some sea salt. I have some candle holders. I have some vegetable oil to which I've added a pinch of sea salt for anointing purposes. I've got some lavender perfume, but you can use an anointing oil that's already got a fragrance in it if you'd prefer to use lavender oil. And then I also have a nail plus a sheet of black paper onto which I have drawn a triangle. We'll place our candle holders in the triangle with the black on the left and the red on the right, the white in the middle, and then our purpose candle on the top. And then what we do is we're going to take the nail and we'll start with this black candle. Think of anything restrictive, anything that's containing you, anything that's that's uh, hateful, anything that's, that's just negative in general. And you're going to inscribe the astrological symbol for Saturn right on this candle as you're thinking of those forces in your life that are restricting you from your good. And just draw that symbol for Saturn right on there and we'll put that in its holder just to hang out for just a moment. And then we're going to take the red candle and we're going to do something similar. We're going to think about all the anger or unfocused thinking, uh, all the fights or arguments, anything that's unfocused, any any negative Mars energy. And we're going to draw the symbol for Mars as we're thinking of that those qualities. And then we'll stick this in its candle holder as well. And then we're going to take our white candle and we're going to think about the power to change. So the power to change those things into something else, the power of transformation. And we're going to put the inscribe the symbol of the moon right on here. And the symbol for the moon, uh, we're going to stick that candle there in the center. And then whatever your purpose is, whatever you want to turn it into, we're going to use money. So I'm just going to put a dollar sign here as I think about uh, what I want instead of those things, what I want to turn those things into. So for me, that's today we're just going to do money and then we'll stick that in there as well. Okay, and then we want to anoint each one of those, thinking of those things again. You could probably have done that right after, uh, but I'm doing it one at a time here uh, and then so I'm uh, in the same order though we'll do the Saturn candle then the Mars candle and then we'll think about the the, uh, the power to change with the moon candle and then after we're done with this we'll anoint our our uh, desire what we want our outcome to be how we want things to turn out for us so here you'll think mostly about the money or whatever it is that you're trying to get all right, try to keep your candles inside the triangle. Don't let them don't let them touch. You can even make a little bigger of a triangle than I did here if you'd like. Now, the next thing we do is we take our perfume if you're not using scented uh, anointing oils, and I just perfume the whole operation. I'm just going to spray three sprays of this lavender perfume right on the whole operation lighting the Saturn candle, thinking of the restrictive energies, things that are holding us back. Then we light the Mars candle, thinking of any anger or hatred or vengeance or scattered energy that, that's, that's causing us problems. And then we light the white candle, thinking of that power to change, the power to change that we don't have to put up with these things anymore. We can actually change it. And then we light the outcome candle and just think about what we want. So you sit there for three to five minutes thinking about visualizing and thinking about what your end goal is. And then once you finish that, you snuff the candles out. Now, if you are in a place where you can leave this set up, just leave it set up. Otherwise, maybe put it on a tray or something and put it away and then come back to it the next day and repeat the whole 
candle lighting ceremony, but only thinking about what it is that you want. Don't go through the the you know the thinking about the anger and the and all of that. Just think about what you want. And every single day you're going to come back and think about what you want with these candles lit. After you've visualized for about five minutes, snuff them out and just keep coming back every single day until the candles have burned down and out. So that may take you a couple of weeks, depending on how big the candles are. And then once you finish with that, just go ahead and rip up the, the paper and uh, throw away the wax and just forget about your spell and know that it is coming true. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been my pleasure to work with you. I can't wait to work with you again. And until next time, blessed be. Thank you.